I'm going to show you how I cut up kale, or more specifically, how I shred kale. I need about 100 grams today, so let's roughly weigh it. That doesn't look like enough. 106 before I've chopped all the middle out. 135. 160. By the time I'm done, I'll have about 100 grams. And shredding kale is pretty easy because there's a, a line that the leaves follow all the way down there. And if you get a paring knife, I like paring knives, if you get a paring knife, you can run it down that line, splits off all the leaves and leaves you a stalk, which I get rid of. So I'll split off all the leaves. You get used to finding the right angle to run the blade down and all the leaves split off most of the time anyway. Then once I've got the leaves I need to break them up into little pieces. I don't do it with a knife because I end up with lots and lots of kale particles and dust which doesn't taste that nice in a meal. Whereas this way you end up with nice little manageable fragments of kale. Try and keep them relatively even so they cook about the same. The stalks are too tough to use. The brown bits I get rid of. Remember that when you're cooking kale, if you're heating it up or dumping it into water, it uh, just about disappears. It's like cooking baby spinach or even full-size spinach. It goes in looking a massive and a couple of minutes later there's almost nothing. There's my bowl of shredded kale.